I could live here and never see another person in my whole life except you. This family's been here that long. I say we give everything to this land. I do mean everything. What happened? The Yellowstone Season 5 Episode 5 gave us some mesmerizing moments. It was like a typical day for the ranchers. They woke up, had meals, worked, and returned home for a good dinner. The dinner was the particular scene that built some tension, and we saw some great as well as significant moments happening here and there. Those moments weave the script for Episode 6. Following, we have discovered some of the top things that we might see coming up as the Season 6 reaches the mid-season break. Continue watching to not miss any details. Some big action is coming up. Judging from the first few episodes of this year, the storyline hasn't been as straightforward as it has instead taken on a more cowboy-like swagger through into the action. A few of those developments have stretched the story far enough, and there's a purposeful scrawl as individuals reflect on the old days or discuss the future without actually acting in the present. Younger John and Sheridan's Plan Episode 5 began with a flashback of the Younger John. The ranch is an excellent place to spend quality time with family and friends. In Montana, the gathering occurs in the springtime, appreciating the gathering of all the grazing animals and the efforts of the cowboys. Episode 5 of Yellowstone's fifth season, Watch Him Right Away, takes place in the past as young John Dutton and his cowboys congregate in front of the barn in the pre-dawn gray. We have not encountered watching the young John as much as we've watched him this season. Does this mean that Sheridan is bidding goodbye to John? Is his death coming near, or will he lose his legacy? It's the legacy that keeps John as powerful instance. As the storyline is proceeding, we can expect John to lose whatever he has. Why would there be too many flashbacks of the traditional dinners and others? Something seems off about this. Summer and her ignorant attitude. All of us love Carter, don't we? It was unbearable when Summer insulted Carter and degraded his religious views. Summer has always been liberal about her instances, and we expected her to remain such a personality forever, but Summer's instances are changing rapidly. There's gonna be a big problem. Is Beth right in predicting that she's learning the rife of ranchers, and that she'll later pose a threat to them? It is difficult to see a positive side of the Summer in the coming episodes. Though Summer is seen enjoying the ranch, it seems like her mind is plotting and she will be playing some cunning game. What is our Beth up to? She is not silent also. She's made her opinion heard among her people. Everybody knows that she hates Summer and she's keeping an eye on Jamie too. Till now, Beth has only had dinner and insult Summer. The fight between the two ladies is a standout moment of watch him right away. It may be due to their differing philosophies or degrees of affection for John, but there's undeniable heat between them. However, Sheridan's preparation for the duel is as much precise as Beth's next right moves. She has not made any moves for Jamie's baby, and she had not yet wounded Summer deep deeply for going to bed of her father. So episode 6 will steadily take us to what Beth thinks. This is the first time we cannot decipher what Beth thinks, which ensures that she'll be able to handle it all. So we expect episode 6 to not be unfavorable for the Duttons, and we may lose John Dutton soon. There are too many flashbacks that only say goodbye to John Dutton. Would Summer be responsible for this? Did jail hurt her so much? So to stay updated about your favorite show Yellowstone Season 5, subscribe and press the bell icon.